Live look from South Florida now where Hurricane Ian is on course to hit the coast after making landfall in Cuba as a destructive and deadly storm. The National Hurricane Center says Ian has now grown into a Category 4 hurricane. It's expected to make landfall somewhere along Florida's southwest coast early this afternoon. CBS News correspondent Christian Benavidez joins us now live from Tampa with the latest. Hey there, Christian. Hey there, good morning. Well, look, let me tell you right now, we're not seeing a lot of wind and rain. We have seen some strong gusts throughout the morning, but as far as a constant wind and constant rain, we haven't seen that quite yet. And why is that? Because uh, the storm, the storm's track has shifted. Initially, we thought it was going to have a direct hit here in the Tampa Bay area. We're now seeing that the forecasts show that this is going to be a direct hit to Southwest Florida. So the question is, are they prepared? As Ian churns towards southwestern Florida, it's already showing its potential for destruction. On Tuesday, it ripped into western Cuba, killing at least two people, and knocking out power to the entire country. In Key West, flooding soaked the streets, snapped this palm tree in half, and pushed high waters below this home. It's time to hunker down and prepare for this storm. Uh, this is a powerful storm that should be treated like you would treat if a tornado was approaching. Exactly where Ian will crash ashore remains uncertain. Some two and a half million people in the region were ordered or advised to evacuate ahead of its Florida landfall expected for today. We always use the adage, you can uh, hide from the wind, but you need to run from that water. Already this morning, this storm has clocked winds at over 150 miles an hour. Here in Tampa and in large parts of Florida, people are preparing not just for flooding and the potential for these strong winds, but also for widespread power outages. Officials here warn it could take crews days to reach down lines once the storm passes. Get a generator just in case we do have the hurricane. Get, get some sandbags and maybe some gas cans. Meanwhile, Ian's outer bands are already likely to blame for spawning several suspected tornadoes that touched down in South Florida, toppling small planes at this Broward County Airport. So the change in that track also means that Hurricane Ian is going to hit land a lot earlier than we expected. Initially, we thought that might happen later tonight or early tomorrow morning. We now see that the forecast shows it could happen as early as this afternoon. Now, Christian, I'm noticing that the winds and the rains look like they're picking up behind you. Are conditions worsening where you are? Look, they certainly are worsening and they will worsen. And just because we're not going to get a direct hit here in Tampa, that does not mean that we're not going to feel the force of this storm. But it does mean that certain areas like southwest Florida, for example, where it's expected to make a direct impact, will be hit much hurt much harder than initially expected. So we'll have to see exactly how it is that this develops. Okay.